Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macram here. I said I would start Fringe, and I'm going to start it. Uh, point of order. I'm also going to start Peaky Blinders, and I'm also going to start Band of Brothers, and they'll be on days when you see them. Soon. It'll be this week coming up. Or maybe this week, period. Uh, complete transparency. I did the first episode of Fringe already. I put it on my secondary channel. It was a request from a patron. Uh, back when I had that uh, tier, which I'll bring back. So this was recorded a while ago. The next episode is going to be the first that I do from now. Uh, same thing goes for Band of Brothers. If my math is correct, today should be Wednesday, and I'm going to try to get these done every Wednesday. Let's get to it. <laughs> sugar on a glazed donut. Excuse me. What? That? You're telling me that's my assignment? Yeah, honey. Would you mind? The decision was made to burn the plane only after it was determined. Savage. Sexist the savage. I was about to ask when they were talking about I said I love you, etc, etc whether or not he dies this episode While he survived the initial blast Agent Scott was exposed to some synthetic chemical compounds work that was done in the labs you found Not dead He's not contagious but until we understand more it's better not to introduce any additional contaminants. Holy shit. Alright, that's what happened to people on the plane. So, he's gonna die. Yeah. I'm sorry, Agent Dunham. They don't fix him. Barging into a mental institution, waving the Patriot Act, which is what you need, and demanding face time with some old lab rat who you think might be behind some of the most terrifying terror that I can possibly imagine, even I'm though I'm coming to you with a solid lead, and your personal resentment Man, is you're wasting your you. breath and my time. Do you understand, immediate family? You want to question Dr. Bishop, you go find his next of kin and have him escort you in. Talk to Bishop, uncover something substantial, and I will have your back. I like her? But I like him too. I don't know. He's gonna give me a little bit. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I know why you're here. I have your file. <laughs> what file? The one the FBI would say doesn't exist. Uh oh. When do we leave? She bluffing and she knows something. Well, excuse me for a sec. Reanimation. Re Back to life. So you're telling me what? My father was Dr. Frankenstein. Go for the doctor, Agent Farnsworth. Sure. Whoa, whoa, stop right now, stop. Does this not concern you? I feel like I deserve the truth, don't you? Wow. 
there was no file. I needed you back here. Submission from a corpse once. You can do that if they haven't been dead for longer than six hours. Right, because after six hours, that's when they're really dead. You could access his memories, assuming there's no brain damage. Of course, you'd have to have an electromagnetic probe placed in the base of your skull whilst immersed without clothing in the old tank. And you'd be heavily drugged. <laughs> Good for me. Set it up. I'll get DHS authorization to bring John here. <laughs> This is unbelievable. This is insane. He is insane. And you're insane for following him. Excellent. <laughs> Let's make some LSD. <laughs> he sounds better to me. Like, he sounds good. Just, uh, what do you call that? Um, a little eccentric, not crazy. I think I'm here. I think I'm here. I'm here. That's dope. There he is. I saw him. I saw John get hurt. I was there. I was there. I saw. I saw. Him. <laughs> this old boy. <laughs> You're telling me he has a twin? Yeah. No home address, only a history of employment. What? Believe that Steve may be part of the pattern. I'm sorry, part of the... Part of the pattern? Oh, I assumed you had clearance. But I'm cleared to know whatever you're cleared to know, Miss Sharp. Apparently not. Who's we? What happened on that plane might be part of something more dangerous than just simple terrorism. Mm -hmm. He's out. He's away. Olivia! Olivia, he's away! He's conscious! John? John, can you hear me, baby? Baby? I had a dream about you. I was threatened by a guy from your office. I buried it. Oh, the brother. It's, um, I got his name already. On the wire. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Charlie. He's always evil. I'm telling you, he's always evil. It's Charlie. He's always evil. I'm working. 
looking for. How long has he been dead? Five hours. Question him. Wow. First of all, that was a really good pilot episode. I thoroughly enjoyed that episode. That was the fastest hour and however many minutes that um, I've been watching in a long while as far as TV goes. I just saw Thor the other day. Whew. It's amazing. Couldn't watch for another day. Um, but like, I didn't check the clock. I did. Like, once. I didn't check the clock that often. I think I checked it once. It was like 52 minutes, which is the longest I go about checking the clock. I'm easily like Jerry. Like, I'm ready to go. Um, I like Olivia. I did not see that Mr. Scott twist coming. I could, um, halfway through the episode, I could already see we're, we're building a team here. Uh, Olivia, uh, old scientist, Walter, uh, his son, the 190 IQ, we'll call him, soon to be love interest, and, um, I don't know if the black chick's gonna be there. I don't know her name. Um, and obviously, I forgot his name. Lance Reddick. Jesus. Um, that's our squad. This feels like a show I would continue to watch. I don't have the time to watch it on a weekly basis, but maybe down the line, a bi-weekly basis. I don't know. I gotta see. I gotta see what happens. That call him Mr. Scott? Agent Scott. <laughs> John Scott. Um, what a square jaw name. Considering this is by J.J. Abrams, I'm going to say there's some twists coming. There's some things I assumed that... Um, aren't exactly going to be accurate. There's some things that they lead you to believe that may not be accurate. Like, for example, um, at the end with the leaf, right? And they bring them in, that dynamic building. Maybe, maybe um, they're not the bad guys. Maybe they're part of the good guys. Maybe they are the entire good guys. Maybe that's where the brother works. Maybe, 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 maybe. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to be looking for the twists. Sometimes I look and it doesn't happen. I thought for sure it was going to be Lance Reddick who was turned out to be the villain at the end. And then I thought, okay, it's Charlie because that dude is always the bad guy and everything. Turns out, it's Mr. Scott. Wow. Olivia had a rough week. Post your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe.